I said, skirt, skirt, all niggas, skirt up, all niggas, skirt down, you acting like me, acting like we was more than. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So I just wanted to step on in here real quick and do a brief little update on the Lyric Woods and Devin Clark case out of North Carolina. Uh, we haven't talked about this in a couple of weeks. Um, the last time I actually did a video, um, we talked about the fact of um, the young man being named as the perpetrator um, that after he committed the offense, he fled and went to Maryland, where he was from. No, it was Delaware, where he was from. And he was apprehended there and brought back to North Carolina. Uh, he was taken into custody, or should I say, he was officially brought into custody on the 5th of October in North Carolina. Now, from there, um, you know, everything was kind of quiet because he is 17 years old. He's a juvenile. He actually attended the school with Devin Clark. Um, there's no clear motive being made available as of this time. I know we had mentioned something about a guy liking Lyric and that it had something to do with that. Well, this was when they thought it was someone else. Um, no uh, motive of any type has been mentioned uh, since they have been speaking about this young man. Um, so we don't have that. Um, another thing um, that happened was when he went to court, in the juvenile court, it was uh, made... Um, noticed that the prosecuting attorney planned to move this case to the adult court, which uh, he had did the paperwork. That took a couple of weeks. I thought it should take a matter of days, but apparently in North Carolina, things are a little different. So it took a couple of weeks for that to actually happen. So when they made their first court appearance in adult court, um, the attorney for Mr. Ross uh, made it known that he was planning to fight the extradition to move it to the adult court, that he wanted to keep it in juvenile court. Now, keeping it in juvenile court would have meant that I think by the age either of 21 or 25, he would be released from custody. Now, we're talking about uh, unaliving two people. Um, and so that's pretty... Um, aggressive uh, behavior for someone who only does a matter of uh, anywhere from four to six, four to nine years, you know. So at any rate, um, he did make available the uh, notice that he would be doing that. So in the interim of time, <clears throat> Um, the case ended, and he had 15 days to um, fight the movement of the case to the adult court, and that time period has since passed. Um, with that time period passing, he has not uh, filed the paperwork, and so therefore, um, this case should definitely stay in the adult court uh, for adjudication. So, with that, um, we are just waiting on him. I think he has another court appearance coming up in the next week or so. Um, and so, uh, from that court appearance, I will uh, update you on the actual charges and um, what's going on from there. But I just wanted to uh, speak with you guys briefly and give you an update on what was going on with this case. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me the information below. Also, if you like content like this, um, true crime types of content, uh, vlog type of content, and uh, commentary content, be sure to uh, subscribe to this channel. 
be sure to like every video that you watch and if you have any input please comment below i will see you in the comments on this video and i will also see you in my next video i just wanted to give you a, a quick update on this case thank you and i will see you in the next video I said, slur, slur, all niggas, slur up, all niggas, slur down, you acting like me, acting like we was more than. I said, slur, slur, all niggas, slur up, all niggas, slur down, you acting like me, acting like we was more than. I said.